Hi everyone, this is a review of the Power Ranger Lightning Collection Power Morpher. Let's start off with the packaging. In front of the packaging, we got the Core 5 uh, Ranger and their Power Coin, the Tyrannosaurus, Sabertooth Tiger, Pterodactyl, Triceratop, and the Macedon, and the Power Coin itself. On the top of the packaging, we got the Core 5 Ranger artwork, R really cool, and the Power Ranger Lightning Collection logo. On the side, we got my Morphin Power Ranger. Uh, on the back of the packaging, we got the buckle holder or the belt holder, um, the power coin itself, and the stand. And these are like the function of what they do. They do light up. And the bottom, we got the UPC code or UPC, the barcode. You guys can scan it if you like. And let's start with the review. Here are what you get out of the package. So there is a small um, assembly required. Uh, what you need to do is get this um, small display piece or part of the display piece. Um, this is the display piece right here. It's just a plastic, cheap, kind of cheap plastic. Um, it is hollow in the bottom, but good detail, I guess. But the detail throughout the stand is fantastic. Uh, this kind of remind me of like the Dino Thunder um, Anton Mercer logo, I believe. The Anton Mercer company. So I don't know if that reference anything. But yeah, here's a look of the display stand. So what you need to do is you just need to connect this into that. So I believe... If you connect it once, you can't take it off again. So it's a one, it's a done done deal. So there you go. So this just help the morpher, um, preventing the morpher to tip back. So here's the morpher itself. Do it come in really metallic silver. Here's the back of it. Uh, they did get the red button correct. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell it by the camera, through the camera, um, the plastic quality is similar to the Beast Morpher Zord plastic. So I don't really like that plastic. I'll compare it with the Legacy Morpher in a bit. But here, it feel kind of like a bootleg-ish, but not really. It between like a bootleg and a... Uh, um, good plastic with Bandai America in use, but as you can see, like the plastic quality of it, uh, there's no extra paint in the back. So usually there's like the core color right here, the bottom top, but it's not here. And the small circle is supposed to be red, but it's not. As you open it, this is what it look like. It's green in the inner panel. Uh, here's the the belt buckle itself, or the belt clip. Oops, it's actually down. So you can just clip on, clip the morpher on the belt buckle. It does snap in place, like that. Uh, you can do it the other way, but it does not snap in place. Well, I noticed it doesn't snap in place. But it hold, it hold within the clip by friction. And you can see how thick this is. It didn't really clip on the belt clip, but the other way, it does clip on securely. And there's no gap. There's like a small gap, but compared to the Legacy, it, there's no big gap, which I'll show you later. All right. Here are our power coins, so you get the Macedon. In the back you get the Ranger helmet, here's the Macedon. Triceratop. Uh, Tyrannosaurus. Sabertooth Tiger The 
her ranger helmet and a pterodactyl. Uh, all of the coins do have some weight to it. There's kind of similar weight to the Legacy version. I believe these are all die cast, but the Morpher itself uh, is all plastic. Alright, to display it, um, you need the display stand, obviously. But, so you can open it, the Morpher first. Uh, sometimes it doesn't really pop out. You have to click it really good. You have to push it, push the button really good. You know, it pop it. If you push it slightly, sometimes it doesn't, like, it gets stuck. But you, in order to put one of the coin in, just line up the tab. I recommend opening it first. As you can see, there's like a groove there, and a groove there, which corresponds with this groove and that groove or peg i guess so line them up you want to push and then turn i did not install the battery yet because there's no on and off button for this morpher so i don't want to activate it every time you just close it there's no on and off button anyway so usually there's an on and off button on the legacy morpher right here but there's no on and off button or a switch. So you need you would want to clip this in. So to display the coin, they all sit really loose, but they do understand they do have like these slot which you can just tab in. So they do sit there but it's gonna loose and then it's gonna be loose and fall. But I kind of like the peg so it doesn't like wobble that much if you put it on the ground. Oops. As you can see. But they do sit like... The peg does help a little bit. So basically the peg just helps the coin to stay like straight and for the buckle there's like this gap this will correspond to I don't know you see these tabs right here so it just slot on not really tight but I mean you're displaying it you're not really being rough with the stand so that's how you display it Look at the back of it. So this help it stabilize, like not to tip over the back. There you go. Uh, the legacy version does fit on the stand, but very loosely. As you can see, it's like not really wobbly. As for the legacy version, let me take these out. As you can see, it's kind of secure, but if you flip this over, it's gonna fall. But it does secure. Um, I do have the morpher in the belt buckle for the legacy. You can see how it is a, a bigger gap. It's more wobbly and more tilt. They tilt um, down a bit farther because of how heavy it is. And you can see this one, it doesn't really it fit much better as compared to this one. Or it just might be my eye, I don't know. But I feel more leaning forward and for the coin they do fit on just rest on they do fit also 
So if you want to display your legacy, you can, but it tend to, um, these coins are not really stabilized because the peg, they don't have the peg unlike these coin, which makes them sit more kind of securely, but this one, you touch it, they're going to fall. They're going to fall. As you can see, it, it didn't have the tab, so it turned. More likely to turn on like this one. But yeah. Right here, I'll show you how to install the battery. So you need three AAA, which is not included. Uh, usually Bandai like to include battery with the little small tab where you can like take it out to for like usually try me. But in this case, you need to provide your own battery. So you need a four headed screwdriver. Um, so just unscrew the screw. So once you put the last one in, there's no activation sound or anything, so don't expect an activation sound. So there you go. So now it should work. So you can see there's two AAA, as for Bandai, it's only the 2LR44, which is right here. And there is no on and off switch. So unless the leg unlike the legacy, they're on and off switch. There's no on and off switch anywhere on here. So it might be annoying, annoying for some people, but so like if you want to switch out the coin or something or accidentally press the button it just, it just activate the sound So that might be annoying for some people but it doesn't really matter I guess Alright now for the function of the morpher So how the morpher work So you get the 5 coin you just insert it as like so I would recommend you to open the morpher first so as I said before there's a tab and you just put it within the slot and that's what the morpher sound like without the coin you hold it down nothing happened no theme song so you put the coin in current source so you want to push down and twist. So you get the flashing light. Red for Tyrannosaurus, Red Ranger. So when you open it. Literally don't know how long this is going to take. But you shut it up. So when you close it, there's a closing noise. Now for the other ranger, so you take it off, you push down and twist, and it should fall off. And now we can do Billy. See, now you see a glowing blue. It's morphing time. Not really black, but it's more like a purple color. Trust 
training. Last but not least, Kimberly. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it looked like a purple-ish and pinkish. But in real life, uh, in, in hand, it is kind of pink. It's more... It pink similar to like the uh, the MMPR 2017 movie pink, not like the movie the show pink. And what there's like a hidden sound which one of the Twitter news the Twitter found out. Uh, so the Twitter account or his name was Jacob Harmon or Harmon. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but he figured out like there's a hidden sound which is in the morpher. So if you keep the morpher closed or hold the plate down and when you hold the button uh, you prevent the plate from opening you get this down which is pretty cool you get um, alpha do it again very nice so that is it or the morpher, so now I'll be comparing it with the Legacy. Here's a comparison between the Lightning Collection and the Legacy Power Morpher and their coins. So these are all, I believe these are all metallic for sure. The, le the Legacy are metallic, but I believe these are metallic also. Metallic diecast metal because they have some weight to it. So they, they feel in hand, they feel both the same they feel the same weight, they have the same weight, but I don't have a scale to like measure it, but yeah, so here is the morpher himself, as you can see this is met uh, a die cast metal, and like this one is plastic, this one is more show accurate because the silver, this one is more, I feel like it's more for a collector, and then this one, this one feels more like a toy because it's all plastic, so here is the back of it. As I referred last time, here are the core ranger color. And you can put it down. There's a the switch. There's no switch here, but there is a switch here. On off switch. Uh, this one has the red button, this one doesn't. As you can see, the lightning collection is more thicker than the legacy version and when you open this up there is a, a red plastic red plastic a clear red plastic here and this one is a just a clear plastic But here you can see all the internal, also this one too, but you kind of see less because of the red. Two of the, when you put in, when you insert the coin, they're different too. Um, so this one you get to push and twist. And it glows. To release it, you twi push down and twist. Unlike this one, unlike the Legacy. You just pop it in. To release it, there's a there's a Z button in the back. You push it, and the coin falls. This one, uh, I think Hasbro going for more for like the ninety toy. As for this one, it's more like a prop in the show because in the Japanese version, Zoo Ranger. They just put the coin in, they just pop the coin in, and they morph. Let me turn it on. So, 
So in Zoo Ranger, they just pop the coin in and they morph. This one didn't really have the, the morphing sound. Unlike this one, you actually like more like the 90 toy, you just push and twist. So if you want like a better sound, this is more like a 90, they refer, referencing the 90 toy, this one is more for a collector, so it depends what you guys would like to pick up, it depends on you. This one is more heavy, obviously because of die cast, this one is more uh, plastic, more, it feels more like a toy than a prop from the show and also it's bigger. So you put it in the buckler, or the buckle, as you can see this one, when you put it in, it fits nicely, snug, it does clip on, it does clip in, and like this one, it doesn't clip in, it just, it holds in by friction, as you can see, there's like a gap there. As you can see, push the camera out of the way and put it in the ranger mode or in the costume mode, I guess. It has real wind. As you see, you see how this one has like a bigger gap in the middle unlike this one more no gap it's more snug fit more perfect so it depends what you got like i would recommend like the hasbro but i feel like 50 dollar is all right but i feel like it should be like around 40 or 45 i guess this one I pay like seventy, I think, or some people I heard pe people say it's like a hundred twenty-seven, I think, or at the time when it first released, I believe it's like eighty bucks or eighty dollar. This one it just right now it's fifty dollars, so I would check your local Walmart for to check the inventory. And here are the coins side by side. You can see Tyrannosaurus. Uh, one advantage that Legacy had, but Hadbro doesn't, you can see the detail more because it's more weather. Unlike this one, it's shiny. Macedon is okay. You can tell, you can see both of them clear. Take the morph out of the way. Triceratops, you have a, a little bit hard time frig figuring what picture it is because it look all smush unlike this one you can see it very clear save it to tiger and pterodactyl you guys i did post on instagram check out my instagram if you guys want to see an up a closer look of each of the comparisons, each of the morpher comparison. I would like to add one more thing. So what I do with the coin, if people throw away their like the Power Ranger packaging or the packaging itself um, to store where I store my coin, uh, I got this for like three nine nine. But it's like um, if you guys recognize it, it's a loot chest from Fortnite. So you can get these are like blind, kind of like blind pack. Where you can get them like at Walmart or Target for like three nine nine or two nine nine, so pretty neat. So you can open; it's hollow inside, but you usually get like weapon, um, weapon and, or like back bling or whatever. But I have like that in another storage. But I use this chest for like my power coins, so they do fit nicely in inside. 
So that's four. You can put the fifth one in, I guess. So I would just recommend put five, five of them. Like that, and then you can just. Now you got a little small power coin chest. There you go. So I did get two of these so I can put my um, power coin inside. So I hope this helped for anyone looking for storage for their like power coin or any Power Ranger like small um, gimmick. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Power Ranger Lightning Collection Power Morpher and the comparison with the Power Ranger Legacy Power Morpher. If you like this video, hit that like button. Be sure to comment and subscribe for more video. Remember to hit that bell icon in order for you to be notified for future video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more Transformer, Nerf, Voltron, and Power Ranger content. Power Rider 98 signing out.